Hello, party farmers. Welcome back to Whisney's. Now, before we get to harvesting, planting, sowing, whatever we have to do, let's hop over to the wheel and see what we'll spin for today. Alright, last time we enabled periodic plowing. Let's see what, uh, what we'll spin for today. I really hope it's something not all too bad. Enable wheels. Okay, this is gonna throw in a bit of a curveball, I think, because now we need to work with herbicide, and we need a sprayer. But, let's hop in the game and see what we can do. Enabling weeds. Let's see, we have that over here somewhere. Weeds. On. Okay, let's see what kind of an impact that has on the farm. I hope it's not all too bad. But now we kind of need a sprayer. <laughs> we need ourselves a sprayer. Let's park you over here as well. We knocked over our little stool. Let's put the, you know, somewhere, uh, somewhere over here. It'll be fine over there. Trust me. But yeah, we have a field to harvest. The last cornfield 146 is ready to harvest which ne means we need to combine and which also need means that we need the other heather we need the corn heather on here so let's again uh, this going and see how much corn we'll get from the field we got stuck on this tree <laughs> uh, that is the last cornfield done and I gotta say I gotta say we have 4.8 in the trailer already plus this that's about 8k liters that we're getting out of it that's pretty good I gotta say that's pretty good Now we do have to do something with this field because I am seeing some orange uh, yield spots and that indicates that we're not doing too hot. The pH value is okay. It's not the best. It could do with a little bit of uh, of lime, I would say. And let's yeah, now we can see weeds growing as well. Okay, okay. Yeah, I'm not so sure what to do about the orange spot. Anyway, let's get this um, back to the yard and then decide what we'll plant here. 
Okay, now what to plant in that field? I'm thinking something in the sense of soybeans. And let's leave this here. We, don't, we will not be needing this for uh, a little bit at least. <laughs> at least a little bit. Now we have to decide, do we sell the corn now? Because we have to sell at worst price, which kind of means that we have to sell at the worst price of these. Which would be the old grain mill at the moment. But a 700, that is not a whole lot we're going to get for this corn. What is the max price of corn? 14? I mean, we could double it. The thing is that we do need to um, keep the weeds in mind. <laughs> because for those, we'll need a sprayer as we go a little bit off-road. What does a sprayer cost? Well, that's, a, that's a good question. That's a very good question. Let's see. Sprayers. 34. That's quite a little bit. We don't have 34k. <laughs> huh. Okay. Um, well, let's leave the trailer full of corn right here. We can, we can always decide on what we want to do with it. And then let's get the planter out. Because we don't need to plow or cultivate for the... For the cedar, I mean, for the cedar. That doesn't need any cultivation. We do need to restock on fertilizer. And while we're at it, might as well do some seeds in there as well. So let's squeeze between these and immediately start refilling. Hopefully we do have enough fertilizer. I do think we could do with a bit more. Just just a bit more. And I think we do need two bags. Which is putting quite a dent <laughs> in the funds. But we should be alright. We should be alright. Here we go. That is full. Excuse, excuse me, miss. Would you mind? Would you mind getting out of the way? Thank you. Now, let's see. What is this? This is liquid fertilizer. We have one of these barrels at the farm as well. And I really hope that that is herbicide. But yeah. Let's head over to the farm. And see what is in that bag. Okay, let's have a look. What is in this barrel? It looks like fertilizer. It is fertilizer. Okay. So we're not having any herbicide at our disposal. That is fantastic. And what I've noticed when looking at the field and also looking at the contracts that we can't do <laughs> is that this needs plowing in order to keep the yield uh, in a healthy condition. So before we can start seeding the soybeans in, we do need the plow. And of course the plow is all the way in the back. Because we don't need it as much. Which means we have to move all these machines out of the way. <laughs> let's see, let's put you over here. That is fine. Let me do a little loop. And get the lime spreader out of the way. Yeah, maybe that's why the orange spots are there. Could be the case. Could be the case. Who knows? Let's see. Will we fit? That is the question. Surely we'll fit, right? We've been on a... And a healthy diet. There we go. Now this is a <laughs> hilariously small plow for this big of a tractor. 
but I believe this is really the only thing that we can afford plow wise or subsoiler wise. I believe this is a subsoiler. But yeah, let's make sure that this field is in top notch condition. And I'll see you back when we can start seeding. And that is the whole field quote unquote plowed, subsoiled. Let's see. It now is perfect, in perfect condition. So let's get this subsoiler out of the way. Grab the cedar. And start planting the soybeans. I have been contemplating a little bit. Because I do want to do a grass field. Somewhere. <laughs> but in order to have proper grass management. Is that, is that a word? Is that a term? <laughs> anyway. In order to do grass, we do need a couple of things. We do need mowers. We need um, either a bill wrapper or a baler that has that same capacity. Like the two-in-one balers that are super expensive. <laughs> but I think we'll start out with a separate wrapper once we get to it. That means we do need to save the corn for at least a couple of months until the price is better. Which is not the end of the world, right? It's not the end of the world. But it does make our lives a little bit more interesting. <laughs> and with interesting, I mean challenging. But hey, it wouldn't be a challenge if we were able to do everything and anything we would like. Uh, wait. We need to put in... Hold up. Soybeans. Excuse me? We need to put in soybeans. Also, someone has bought... A lot of fertilizer. Where the soybeans don't need fertilizer. <laughs> so we got that going for us. Which is great. Yeah, let's, uh, let's get this field planted. And then make a little action plan. And that is a field planted. And almost rolled. And then we quickly have to check. Is this now actually still weed growing? This still is growing weed. Okay. So we will need either a weeder. Or spot spraying. And I'm really curious, because this tractor has wide tires. Will that make an impact on the crop if we do that within the first, first month of growing? There is a period where you don't get to destroy crops if it's early enough in the growth stage. But yeah, that's something that we are going to have to uh, figure out as we as we go along, I feel like. But yeah, there is a plan. There is a plan. That plan is uh, not to hit the, <laughs> the baler, but hey. Uh, the plan. The plan is to wait uh, two months. Because in two months we will have the oat fields that are ready. Let's see. Can we park this in somewhat professionally, or is it like, well, the driving is still not, the driving is still not there. 
Yeah, we'll wait for two oat fields to become uh, ready for harvesting. Let's see which fields. It are these two at the bottom. They'll be done earliest. And with the income generated from that, we can buy the spot sprayer or the, the, the weed sprayer. Or a weeder. I'm not I'm not hundred percent sure. And we'll have to check the tires on this bad boy. But we can do that over at the shop. And with the income generated from that, let it depends on how much we generate, right? If we generate enough, we might as well do some grass for silage. Which is either going to be this field, but this field would also be great. But yeah, we'll have to skip ahead a little bit to get things going. And I'll see you back when we're ready to harvest the two fields. Okay, it is December. The two fields are ready to harvest. So let's hop over in the combine and let's get going. Field one of oats harvested. And that went uh, pretty fast. Now I put both of the trailers behind the tractor because we're gonna make a double delivery. I feel like that is uh, appropriate to do. Although they both need to go to a different sell point. Uh, that's the wrong tab. Because we have to sell at the lowest price, this goes to either purchase with these or the old grain mill. And the corn we have to sell at Purchase Green Valley. Purchase Green Valley is here. And Purchase Whisney is over here. Is there anything closer? That ain't it. Bakery ain't it. No, I think we uh, will sell at Purchase Green Valley. And then as well at the purchase with knees. Let's see if we can drive this in. Start overloading oat. I don't want to overload oat. Um, start overload corn. Okay, we are starting to overload the corn. Now this is where the corn goes. And next stop will be for the oats. Okay, 10.5k, not bad. Let's continue to the next stop. And the second stop, let's see what we'll get for the selling of the oat. Excuse me, sir, coming through, please. We can already start overloading the oats. What? Okay, well, if it works, it works. Not completely in the sell point, but hey, <laughs> I ain't complaining. Oh, but look at that. Look at, even at the worst price, this is so good. That is 14k that we get from that. I don't know about you, but that's pretty good in my book. That's pretty good. And we can make a turn here as well. Mm-mm-mm. Perfect, perfect. Now, let's get the trailers back at the yard and then we can start a little bailing.
first field build up and done. At least harvesting wise. Done harvesting wise. And I believe we can see where or how how many bills we got out of this. Twelve. Out of the thirty-seven in total. Not bad, not bad. That will sell for a decent price. Uh -huh, I hope. <laughs> 142. 142 is so good. Mm, that is so good. I love it. But yeah, with that said, that's going to be it for today's episode. Next episode, we'll continue harvesting the second field. Sell all the bills. Sell all the crop. Everything is, a, is at a good price. But without further ado, there rest me nothing and to wish you a great day. And hopefully catch you in the next video real soon. See ya.